Hello, Assalamu alaikum dear friends, myself Vishal. So today I am going to give a little demo on comparative anatomy of different animals, for example ox, dog, horse and camel. So this is a humerus, I in my head. So humerus can be subdivided in is can be subdivided into three parts: proximal extremity, distal extremity, and in the middle, this is shaft. So it, this is a humerus. Humerus is also called stylopodium. It is called stylopodium. It is called stylopodium because it is a single bony element. As you can see, there are no other bones present in it. It is a single large bone. And other stylopodium is femur. And humerus is also called brachium. So it has proximal extremity, distal extremity, and the shaft. Let's discuss the proximal extremity. The proximal extremity is very voluminous part of uh, humerus. As you can see, it composed of uh, humeral head, tubercles, and there is a neck of humerus, and uh, there is also the crest of humeral neck and the crest of uh, greater tubercle. Now let's discuss the tubercles. The tubercle, this is, this is the cranial aspect of humerus. From the cranial aspect you can clearly see the tubercles. This is the greater tubercle, this is the later, um, lesser tubercle and in between them, in between them it is the intermediate. This groove here, it is called bicepital groove or sulcus. As you can see, the by, there is also a groove, bicycle groove present between lesser and intermediate tubercle, but it is not as deep as uh, the groove between uh, intermediate and greater tubercle. And it uh, it is shallow in ox, but it uh, in if we took a ox uh, humerus of camel or a horse, the bicycle groove between lesser and intermediate tubercle is uh, deep as deep as the groove sulcus between intermediate and lesser tubercle, the greater tubercle. Greater tubercle is divided, subdivided into two parts, cranial and cardal part, and uh, as well as the lesser tubercle, cranial and cardal part. As you can see, the uh, greater tubercle, it gives the insertion for the um, uh, infraspinatious muscles and supraspinatious muscles. And uh, the lesser tubercle, it gives the insertion for the teres minor muscles. And uh, from there, this is a humeral head and this is the neck, humeral neck. This is the caudal aspect of the humerus. From the caudal aspect, you can see, clearly see the greater tubercle, but not clearly see the, but the lesser tubercle is not visible as much as greater tubercle. And uh, from there, this is also called the surgical neck, also called the surgical neck. And there, this is the medial view. How do I know this is the medial view? Because of this, uh, medial sur surface is very smooth compared to the lateral surface. And this is the lateral surface. It is not as smooth as the medial surface. So coming down to the shaft uh, this this right here it is musculospiral groove it gives a, a path for the section for the deltoid muscles and uh, right here this is the lateral aspect now on the medial aspect this is teres ma major tuberosity it is not uh, as prominent as compared to the horse and uh, camel this is the humerus of ox and this as we follow the deltoid tuberosity there, it is the humeral crest and above the deltoid tuberosity is the crest of a greater tubercle. And coming down there, distal extremity, these are, this, these are called pondyles or pondyles. They articulate with the radi facets of radius and uh, the pondyles are uh, particularly named from the lateral side. This is a lateral humeral epicondyle, this is a lateral humeral condyle, this is medial humeral condyle and this is medial humeral epicondyle. So, uh, the lateral and medial epicond humeral epicondyles uh, gives uh, uh, origin for the flexor and extensor muscles. And right here, as you can see this fossa here, it is a radial fossa. 
and uh, from the cardinal surface there is also a fossa present this is called olecranian fossa it articulates with the olecranian notch or uh, ankylian notch of the ulna and uh, as you can see bet- between there there is an uh, only in the humerus of uh, gog there is also a foramen or a hole present uh, in that connects olecranian and radial fossa it is called supratracheal fossa supratracheal foramen it is only present in dog and coming down there this cardal view at cardal view this is the nutrient foramen this is a nutrient foramen of uh, humerus of ox the humerus can be subdivided into three parts this is the ex- proximal extremity this is distal extremity and this is cap the different we can easily differentiate between the distal and the proximal extremity proximal extremity is a voluminous part of uh, uh, humerus there are the humeral head tubercles and uh, at the distal extremity there are humeral condyles uh, for ra- radial fossa auriculonal fossa and at the shaft there is musculospiral groove deltoid tuberosity and the teres major tuberosity thank you very much